You're absolutely right. It has nothing to do with KFC sales or the chicken. It has to do with the principle that this is my family, and I know Colonel Sanders for a fact was not a racist, and I don't like it when people say that he was when they don't know a thing about him. If Colonel Sanders was a racist, I would tell you. Did he cuss like a sailor? Yeah, but he wasn't a racist. He didn't hate people based on where they were born, what color their skin is. He did not hate people on that, and he did not judge people on that. And when somebody who wasn't even old enough to know him, I know I'm not old enough to have known him, I wasn't even born, but I know my entire family now, and I have all the stories from the family, a bunch of stories from franchisees that used to know him, their families, and other families of different companies that worked with them, such as Baron Key Spices, to back up all the stories that I have to share that Colonel Sanders was not a racist. Heck, he was good friends with George Tinsley, who is still alive today. He was an African-American franchisee of Kentucky Fried Chicken. I believe he's still involved with Kentucky Fried Chicken today. Maddie Jones, civil rights activist, she absolutely adored the colonel. So when somebody like Papa John comes out and says that he said the N-word, why do I get in trouble and the Colonel Sanders didn't, people don't want to hear the facts. They want to hear the controversy, and it's wrong.